Well, the difference between transport and mobility is quite simple. Mobility looks, mobility looks at all the modes, so not only car traffic, but also public transport, bicycle and uh, going on foot. While as the concept of mobility management is the marketing for the sustainable modes, so for public transport, cycling and on foot, at the right place at the right time. It is also the integration of uh, various modes. So how can we integrate better the public transport with cycling, with car sharing, how to manage mobility better. That's why it's called mobility management. I have to say that uh, it's not really uh, very on the forefront of the EU policies. They support it with uh, small programs, but it's not really present in the directive. Uh, there is, it's not really on the forefront of, of policies, uh, so EU policy are more on big infrastructure and a lot of technology, but not so much on soft measures, which is disappointing and we're working to change that. We have now 10 member countries and the members in the countries are the ministries that are responsible for mobility management. So in some countries this is the transport ministry, in other countries it's the ministry of environment. So one main task is of course the promotion of mobility management, but it's also um, to to have an exchange between the countries so that the countries learn from each other, that they take up their best practices and not only the countries but also the cities. So we are a connection between the countries on the national level which unfortunately is still lacking. So we have connections on, on the city level and we have a connection on the EU level but the national level is sort of the go in between. And so the most important thing that we are doing I think is uh, to build up national platforms on mobility management uh, so that, that there is also a national exchange between the cities and that these national platforms are then there to learn from each other. So that's the main task. Yeah. And the big advantage is that you can join this whole network, uh, that you can get the experience from the other, from the neighboring countries in a very direct way. So say for example you want to introduce uh, the concept of car sharing, you can immediately ask our experts and say do you, how can we connect you, what sort of training can we offer. Um, or you can look at Holland, what they are doing in Holland, why are they so successful with cycling and you can get the concepts from Holland. And there were very, very many different things and every country has its uh, good things and also every country has its bad things but uh, with joining EPOM uh, the countries that have joined are mostly the let's say the western countries uh, and they, they are still staying and it would be very good for Slovenia if it would be one of the first countries from the old let's say from the past that uh, also joins this movement.